Welcome, you friends of the muff. There will be jokes about this. Just to warn you. <clears throat> There's not going to be a PC video. Now, my good friend Chris Jupiter. That's not really his name. The guy's German. Nobody's called Jupiter. It's not a German ass name. It's the planet. Makes pedals that are aluminium chassis and then very black. Everything he sells is black. There are black stickers. I have the, the boxes over there. Um, his style is very... It's so not unique that it's extremely unique. <laughs> um, no, he goes down the one road and it's a black one. And um, well, he made a very limited edition pink one for me. He has his pink muff. And who wouldn't like Chris's pink muff? I mean, I just love to go, you know, talk about the pink muff. I mean, it's a very simple pedal. If it was a complex pedal, we could really dive deep into it and do a, you know, <clears throat> it would make me a, if I dive in, dive into the, done now. Now we talk about the muff. It's the wallow. The wallow is his dog. That's funny. Also sounds cool. It got the word war in it which is shooting people, and low, which is because he's got drop tunings usually. So it's a freaking, it's a freaking muff pedal. Um, I don't know too much about those. I know many people are, the, and, and, and they're all different, and this one's different, and the op amp, and this, and this, and this. I, I don't give a flying rat's ass. It has a function. And whether it's got that amp, or that amp, or whether it's pink or not, it's got a function in the band, in the song, in the mix. And the function of a muff to me is the general equalizer. It equalizes. It equalizes dynamics because it's all there or nothing. There isn't a dynamic playing with a muff. And don't you tell me there is. There isn't a huge difference in what guitar you use. And I know you're going to argue about this, but th this is a hollow body single coil guitar that I'm using. Um, if I used a humbucker, Les Paul type guitar, the differences are not as pronounced as they would be without a pedal or with other pedals. A muff is the great equalizer. It makes everything sound muffy. It imposes its character on the sound, on your playing. I think it's, oh, I'm going to get so much hate for this. I think it's more difficult to distinguish players with a big muff than with a different pedal. Why would I think that? Well, because a player is defined by dynamics and by tone in the fingers and all that stuff. But the muff is so clear in what it does that it's going to sound more muffy than you. And that's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. Now, if he makes a pedal that I have fun playing and that's massive and muffy, well, good. And that's what we're looking at, the wallow. <clears throat> Inside is a little switch to change what the tone does from a more muff style to a more normal filter. Why the fuck would he put that inside? I don't know. They, you also don't know this because there's no manual. There is, however, I, I love that. A huge ass sticker, he had, he had money to do this. Listen to Wallow, now available for streaming and a QR code because it's also his band. Listen to Wallow. Chris. You be so doof! Only use the right power supply. 9 volt DC, 100 milliamps. They had money and time and energy to print this and put it in the box. But there's no manual. I mean, do you need a manual? It's got three freaking knobs, but it's got an internal switch, which how do you know that without a manual? You don't! To be so tough, Chris! Now that I called him an idiot, I can tell you that he's paying me to make this video. There you go. <laughs> Good to have friends in high places. Hey, make the wallow smaller, Leslie. I'm playing the wallow with this Tone Fox Elcaster Series 2. Look at her. This is not a P90, it's actually a single call. It's a traditional kind of telly thing, but it's hollow. 
extremely nice guitar and they're gonna go on sale in December, in January. Uh, there will be about 15 to 20 of the green one and 15 to 20 of the golden one that's over there. Same model, different color, gold flake, sparkle. <clears throat> So, video about that is uh, being produced. So, here we go. It's a very bright guitar, but the thing is, it doesn't matter because I think the Muff is the great equalizer. Whether I use a single coil Strat or this or something else, um, it'll sound muffy. <laughs> Into the Chong King, Sky King, through the arcs with a 412 Cranberg loaded cab. <laughs> really sweet at that gain. Setting it is a little bit dynamic, yeah, but we're gonna leave that right now. It always ha has that, like, car, bike, when two cars kind of like reaching that harmonic, you, know, you don't know what I'm talking about. I gotta say, this one has more detail than usual. Uh, for me, oftentimes a muff is a single note kind of a thing. Wallow isn't. And it's got, when you go to the single note, it's got this really beautiful sweetness where it catches the harmonics. It's true. I'm not saying that I'm getting paid because I'm getting paid. And it feels like I'm doing that, but it's not. It, wow. <laughs>
one is fun. That's what, all I can say. something you need then it can do that yeah it does this this thin and aggressive sound gets turned into massivity db massive massivity db db massive massive tid b massive this nasty you can find these hidden little gems where you can sit down with a nice cup of tea and say how was your day it was nice let's dream together oh yes that's stuck let's dream together hmm? Ooh, nice oh I, I, that's actually impressive um so inside that thing where you can switch the thing let's do that Chris likes to, you know, put hidden messages in his pedals. Greatness can't be bought, sick tones can. Pretty cool. This says soft clipping. Is that a switch? Chris didn't say anything about that. There is a switch. He didn't say anything about that. So now I, I push the filter up. This is good. It's well done. Oh, look at this. There's a, there's a sticker in here for reasons that I don't understand. Are there any other? I, I can't see it. Is there anything actually on here? So let's look at that tone knob now. Yeah, 
much more subtle, more predictable, which is, of course, the tone knob on a, on a muff is... It does that here, but then you go back, the dad does that, and they go a little back, but it goes back here. It goes all over the place. it that much because now it's all just muffy i like the other thing more you could get more some of the height and bite it was more interesting uh let's look at the, what the soft clipping thing does i mean one could just put a switch on the pedal not inside just saying <laughs> No idea. I'll put it back together and put the soft clipping back to where it was. So that leaves the test in a few amps. We're gonna set up a sucker. And we're going into the Morgan MVP66, which is JTM-ish and sounds like so. Into the Marshall JC uh, uh, SV28, which is the mini plexi. <laughs> Does the job into the Morgan AC20, which is Vox Tesk. <laughs> to the Marshall JCM 800 on the clean channel. There isn't a clean channel, it's the low input. To the orange rock of verb 50. See, thin guitar, thin amp, uh, it's a bigger fire.
Hey, what can I say about this now bigger Wallow? Thank you, Leslie. Um, well, it's pink. Look, would I use a Big Muff all day long? No, I need more dynamics. I need more, I need actually less. I need less thickitude. I need more detail in my playing, but that's not why you play Big Muff. You play Big Muff because it's in the freaking word, it's big, it's massive. That little tiny sound became huge. Any sound will become huge. Um, it's not gonna, the Wallo isn't gonna make me the massive Big Muff fan. It's not going to put the Muff, let's not go there, let's not make Muff jokes. Uh, it's not going to make it my number one go-to pedal, but there are songs where I go like, oh, I need this, and, and then you grab it, you grab the Muff. Cause sometimes you gotta grab them by the, no, you don't. If you know what I mean. Now, Chris asked if you could pay me 200 bucks extra to say that it's the best um, pedal I've ever played. He uh, blatantly tried to buy my opinion. Then we'll play his game. For 100 extra, <laughs> I will say that it is without a doubt, Chris, it is the best pink fuzz I've ever had from Jupiter Effects. It is by far the best pink Jupiter Effects pedal in the freaking world. I think that's something. No, it's, it's, it's a great pedal of its kind. Can we agree on that? I think we can, because I had fun. And especially those right around here and right around here, and then roll back the volume a bit, there was some extreme singing going on. I know that's not why you buy this, but you can, and that's why I'm gonna use it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out for the silly video about muffs and stuff. And uh, thank you, Leslie, for switching. Um, wanna say hi to Chris? Hi, Chris. <laughs> Animals at the end. Time flying by Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up But my mind won't stop I won't back down Until I've reached the top Till the sun goes out